Jason's been out of the office for a couple of weeks. Uh, something special is going on? Well, he's back today and we're gonna talk about the decorations for his wedding. Come on, Come on. They're bringing in a few of the supplies that they've already picked up for the decorations. And guess what? Grayson, he's so good. He put the reception hall in our SketchUp model. Talk about thorough. And what will it do? It's going to let people know so what table they're this at. This is the table number, and on folded pieces of paper are the names for that table. Um, so they okay. can take their little folded card, put it on their table. We don't have assigned seats, just assigned tables. I like the ideas that they come up with. A little bit edgy, kind of rustic, but also very glammy at the same time. Okay, these chairs, I put them in this blue, because I knew they had these ugly chairs. It was like metal. They look like, you know, like a... They're banquet chairs. They're banquet standard. chairs. Okay. Super ugly. But once we got in there and saw them, I was just like... All the time we spent making these beautiful trees and hanging crystals from them and they're pure white and then, you know, just all the fabrics and all this stuff and I'm like, we're going to have these ugly dark blue, you know, what's the yeah. point? Yeah. <laughs> Where the ceremony is, is already taken care of, is that correct? Somebody else is putting the little pom-poms on the sides? No, we need to do yeah. that too. Oh, and we are because. involved in that as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. The chairs will be set up for us. Yes. Sure. At That's already decided. Three o'clock-ish. Mm -hmm. And... The only thing we have for decorations at this point is oh, we have the white arch, yeah, mm -hmm. which yeah. you want us to decorate. Mm -hmm. Anything's fine, yeah. So the idea of doing the arch, I was really excited about it because it reminds me of Christmas decorating, and you know how I love to do that. I don't think it'll be too hard at all. Do you have a flower girl that's going to be doing I that? I do. They're walking hand in hand, and I'm going to make her. Just... Are they, they're not throwing petals, so it's too. okay if she we. Can't. Okay. 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 Yeah. So why didn't you have sugar and Roxy? She has a dress. Ball, 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 yeah, she has a dress ball, ball, ball. in your colors. Oh, I'm just saying. That's all right. We're fine. <laughs> we will be fine. <laughs> yeah, I need you up here because I have to ask you a design question. down to the wire, we got the wind in our sails, we got our ducks in a row, we have a gun in our back, and we have more wind in our sails that we could shake a stick at. Did I say that twice? And we're working against the clock. I absolutely love picking cabinet hardware, because to me, it's kind of like adding jewelry to your cabinets. This is a knob that we have in the kitchen now, and it's one of those things where I have to take into consideration where the already drilled holes are. So, this is not going to fit. Dang it. We'll keep looking. Here. Obviously, in a place like this, the selection can be overwhelming. There are so many things to choose from, and to me it really matters. The finishes, I want to match them or coordinate them. So, this is what I do. I take a lot of pictures of all the things that I see that I think could potentially work. Then I take it back to the office, and I print it out, lay it out, and I make my selections. Mrs. Homeowner would love these. Mr. Homeowner would kill me. So, you been busy? Today, I'm going to go to the drapery workroom and check things out. Such a cool sewing machine. Old yeah. school. You know? Yes, old school, but it, it works just like the owner. Old school, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, these are cute. Very cute. Okay, so do we have any of our stuff ready? No. Oh, well, then what the heck am I doing here? Good question. Come to visit. You just came to visit. Just us. came to visit. Surely, one of a kind. I was thinking it'd probably be a really good idea for me to go over. I know that Kate brought a bunch of stuff, but you know how it is with window treatments. It's so up to interpretation. I just thought, you know, to be safe, we should go over all this stuff together. Which is these, and they're going to be grommeted. Roller shade. You know what? I'm not them. sure I want this to be grommeted. Seaside court, this is still going to be grommeted. Because we picked oil grub. Absolutely not. No, no grub. Well, it does, wait, wait, does, what does he say? He doesn't say. I'll go get my binder, but we went, I mean, this is, we talked about this. Can we talk about, about, about So I'll yeah. ask it. Yeah, because I had oil rubbed here and antique on 
on those so we did, let's take that off. There's so many details. I mean, sometimes when you relay all these messages and notes through all these different people, it's kind of like playing a broken telephone. This is a top, this is a bottom. Okay. This is your drape that's going to be hanging like yes, this. Yes, exactly. Okay. So here's my question. We want to run the pole through these holes. Do you think this is the integrity of the fabric? It's strong enough to hold that or should we? It's going to be doubled. Okay, well, that's Just good. Just like that. And then on um, the bathroom, let's get a piece, let's put a piece of that off that I just unrolled over there. And I'd say for consistency, and Kate write this down, so later when I go, I didn't say that, you can say, I have it written down. Um, I think we do horizontal, hey. It's been so much fun to see how creative people have been with the Style My Space video contest. Oh yeah, these tricks, they always help. Woo! Start it with a dog picture, that always gets me. I don't recall that being one of my principles. Wow, that's got some potential. That was cute. Today's the day. The wedding day for Grayson and Elise. So decorating the chairs was like a two-day event that we smashed into four, three or four hours. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with that brainy idea. Grayson is one creative guy. And also Elise, she's a musician and an artist as well. So between the two of them, they had some really specific ideas of how they wanted their wedding to look. Grayson had this idea of using manzanita wood. It's time to paint a bit of the good stuff. From what I understand, it was a group effort. They got their friends together and they actually made these trees. A really good friend of Elise's mom, and Elise, her name was Tracy, I'd never met her before. She came in at the last minute and she helped me. Boy, was she a lifesaver. When I get into my decorating, I get so into it that I just put everything into it. But it takes time. And I was frustrated because I wasn't loving how it was turning out. And the wind was against me. And I had only so many supplies. And I just, it wasn't turning out the way I wanted it to. And I was getting so sad. And as I looked around, the guests were coming. And I was still up on a ladder, hanging crystals and tying ribbons and bows and fighting with the wind. When I walked away, it was 15 minutes before the wedding was supposed to start. And I ran and got my clothes. I ran sort of in really sore feet to the bathroom and it was boiling hot and I was sweating. I had no makeup on. I didn't wear any makeup that day. And I looked in the mirror and it was literally five o'clock when the wedding was supposed to start. And I just started to weep. I cried and cried because Grayson is like a son to me. And I didn't want to miss his wedding, but I didn't want to go without any makeup on either. <laughs> so I just kind of shook myself and I just said to myself in the mirror, Rebecca, who cares what you look like? If you miss this wedding, it is your fault. 
So I grabbed my stuff and I went to the wedding with no makeup on. That is the first time I have shown up for a social event as important as that with absolutely no makeup on. And you know what? I didn't care. I was just so happy that I sat down in enough time and the music started and I didn't miss it. So I was, <laughs> I don't know why I was so emotional. I don't know why I'm emotional now, but I was just so happy for them. And it really did look beautiful. beginning of their happily ever after.